For this particular illustration, we're going to use pennies to explain exponential growth. Now let's say you start out with a penny and you go to someone and they say, I'm going to double that amount and give you that on the first day. So let's say it's uh, January 1st or October 1st or whatever. On the first day, they are going to pay you two pennies or twice the amount that you started with. On the second day, they're going to pay you twice the amount as the first day. So they're going to pay you four pennies. On the third day, they're going to pay you twice as much as they did on the second day. They're going to double that and pay you eight pennies on the third day. This illustrates the concept that tomorrow's money increase is determined by doubling today's amount. This means, for example, that on the fourth day, you will be paid 16 cents by doubling the amount you were paid on the third day. We can see that for any given day, the amount of money you are paid will be given by the following equation. F of t equals 0.01 times 2 to the t. Now, to make sense of this equation, let's use some examples. The 0.01 represents the penny you originally had in your pocket. The 2 represents how much you will be multiplying that penny by every day. In this case, we are doubling. So therefore, the base is 2. The third part of this formula is how many days elapse. So as a particular example, on the first day, we start out with a penny. We started out with a penny, you know, uh, and then on the first day, we doubled that penny and we were paid two pennies, as seen in this row right here. So I guess you could say you had a penny before the month started, right? And in the first day, you were paid two cents, okay? Uh, another example, let's say the day equals two. Um, you would take the penny and double it twice. So times two times two equals four cents. That's how much money you have on the second day. On the third day, on day six, okay, let's just hop some, some time here. Instead of, instead of having to just keep figuring out every day, we could just figure out day six by plugging in six into the exponent. This would mean taking the penny and multiplying by two six times or doubling it six times. On day six, then we would have 32 cents. So these, it's important to have a formula so that we don't have to figure out all the days in between. Let's say we wanted to figure out how much money we would have after 30 days. We could just plug it into this formula and just plug in 30 into the exponent, meaning we'd be doubling a penny 30 times. So that means that after one month, f of 30, plugging in 30 for t, we would plug in 30 here for where the t value was. We'd still start out with a penny, and we'd still double it 30 times. If you plug this into your calculator, you will get a whopping, whopping $10,737,418.24 will be paid to you on the 30th day. If there's 31 days in the month, and you plug in 31 in for time, you would obviously be doubling this amount right here, and you end up with $21,474,000. $836.48. So the mere, the, sheer, the mere fact of doubling a penny a day for 31 days will earn you over $21 million. From day one to day two, you went from two cents to four cents. Therefore, your wealth grew by two cents. But from day 30 to 31, you went from $10 million to over $21 million. So the growth was much bigger at that time. Therefore, your wealth grew by over $10 million. This illustrates that as time goes on, your wealth grows faster because you are doubling a higher amount of money in your account. So I want to underline a few key words here. Your wealth is growing faster, and it depends on the amount of money in your account. We are getting now at the heart of exponential growth. Exponential growth, by definition, exponential growth means that the rate an amount is growing is proportional to the present amount. I'll say that one more time. The rate in which the amount is growing is proportional to the present amount. In other words, going back to a previous example, the reason why 
it grew more from day 30 to 31 was because there was much more in the account on day 30 than there was from day one, where it only doubled a penny. It's like a snowball effect. The more it gathers, the faster it grows. And see, this is why people are always encouraging you to put money into an interest account when you're young, because the time you get old, you're going to see that money grow faster and faster. One final note. Suppose the person ditching you this money realizes they are going to go broke. So let's say your employer backs up and says, well, wait a minute. I can't just double a penny a day for 30 days. I'm going to end up having to pay you $20 million. So they decide now to double your money every year instead of every day. Before the formula was 0.01 times 2 to the T, where your money was doubled daily. But now it will be the following. F of T is equal to 0.01 times 2 to the 1 365th T. Now this number next to the T in the exponent is called the growth constant. It is a number that slows down or in some cases speeds up the rate in which the amount increases in your formula. This is denoted by the letter K and again it's called the growth constant. So for an example, the reason why this formula works, let's just plug in T equals 1. In this particular case, or actually let's plug in T equals 365. In this particular case, you can see that the 365 would cancel this out and become a 1, and you would only double the penny after the first year or the first 365 days if you plug in 365. If you plug in 1, you can see that you'd only get 2 to the 1 to the 365th times 0.01. You'd get very little money out of day 1. In fact, a very small fraction of a penny. We can take this fraction and convert it to a decimal. 1 365th is approximately 0 0.0023. We will place this fraction with that decimal, and this will give us a decimal of the growth constant, again, determined by the letter K. So again, if we plug in 365 in for T, this becomes an exponent of 1, and the penny will only double after one year, 365 days. This is why this fraction slows the growth rate down. This number is, has a name. It's called the growth constant. As you can see, it helps, you, it helps slow the growth of your money down, or in some cases, cases, speed it up to a reasonable amount your friend can dish out. So he's going to double or she's going to double your penny once every year instead of once every day. Now, still, after 30 years, you'd still be a millionaire, right, or $10 million, but it still slows it down. Now, the way that it could speed it up is actually pretty simple to explain, too. Uh, let's say instead of replacing this with 1 over 365, we replaced it with a 2. What that would mean is if we plugged in 1 half for t, that would mean the exponent is 1, so your penny would double every half of a day instead of every day. So the 2 would actually increase the rate. It would take half the amount of time to double your penny. So for now, we will end this video by explaining the fact that a growth constant changes the amount of money that you earn over a given uh, time, particularly the rate in which you earn it. And exponential growth is determined by the fact that the rate in which your money is increasing depends on the amount of money you currently have. And in the penny, uh, doubling a penny a day case, we can see that you earn over $20 million in a 31-day period. If you have any other questions about this concept, let me know.